Hi, I'm Ron with Amazing Mile Marker Stops. Come along with us as we look for amazing places for you to visit. We're getting ready to leave um, the free dock in Cambridge and uh, there's a clear weather window tomorrow to cross the Chesapeake. Uh, one foot or less waves, winds are going to be less than five miles an hour. want to get to a staging point in that direction so we can cross Chesapeake tomorrow morning. <clears throat> we had originally planned to stay at a marina in Tillman Pass, Tillman Cut. I think it's called Tillman Cut. And uh, But we called and they're full. They have no openings. So we're just going to go anchor out somewhere close by and then try to get through the cut tomorrow and out into the Chesapeake and cross over to the western shore. going to cross the Chesapeake today and the weather window is in the morning um, it's going to take us about three hours to cross and so we've got to make sure that we we get the uh, we get across before the weather turns bad so we're getting up early but it's a beautiful sunrise morning oh no Anxiety creeps up on me Is this how it's supposed to feel? Tell me when it's over I got some place that I gotta be It won't leave My friends, hey Get out of your comfort zone It's a blessing in disguise Get out of what you call home Your name is written in the sky It might feel just like you're on your own Baby, it's another lie Remember you were me I try to work, work, work But it doesn't work I try to say something But there's a word I try to just Naps Narrows Bridge, Naps Narrows Bridge, Naps Narrows Bridge It's Elixir, Elixir, Elixir Requesting a westbound opening, over Naps Narrows, which marker are you at? Red number six no problem, just right up. Copy that. Oh no. The doctor says take some pills. But this is not how it's supposed to feel. Upside down and in and out, I guess I have to take a break. Get out of your comfort zone, it's a blessing. I'd say we picked a good day to come out here, dear. Mm-hmm. I told you. One foot or less. I don't know what the deal is, but all day long, since we've been an anchor here, boats have been going over, uh, jet skis have been going over, even the law enforcement went over to check out this boat that sunk, I guess it recently sunk. Looks like it blew off uh, yeah, the uh, lifts that lifted up out of the water looks like it blew off of that, but um, 
there's other boats sunk around here that to me are more interesting but for some reason that fascinates all the local people i'm not sure why here goes another one to check out that boat and of course quite a few had already gone and checked it out before we found that interesting enough to decide to video it I think we could charge admission and probably make a lot of money. Well, we're in the town of Edgewood, Maryland. It's a pretty nice little town, but we're not gonna have time to film it this trip because uh, we've only got one night to stay here. I wanted to get my toenails done. Yeah. So we uh, came into town. There's a grocery store right across the street from a nail salon. So. Got a little pampering done and... And loaded up the backpacks. And loaded up the backpacks with provisions. So now we're on the way back to the boat. And uh, this road here is super busy. It's hard to get across. It's Highway 2 in Maryland. I guess that's the main highway. I don't know. But it's just been lots and lots of cars. So getting ready to rain so we're heading back to the boat because it's all open it wasn't supposed to rain yet and uh, it's actually kind of sprinkling on us a little bit right now yeah we're already and, getting wet and we're walking we're not on bicycles yep so anyway like i say it's a nice little town we'll go ahead and get it get it listed on the website travel guide but Let's we'll come back another day to film it. Hopefully you can hear all that. Yeah, it's noisy. was coming over to look at this boat that we're coming up on right now and that's because a couple days ago I'll turn that down so you can hear me better a couple days ago uh, when we were hiding in Cambridge from the remnants of Hurricane Ida because we didn't feel it was safe to head on over here uh, we were right <laughs> And a tornado came through here and that's what caused this boat to sink along with a couple other boats that we've seen but it also apparently did a lot of damage to this house here and that's what they're actually coming to look at is the the damage to the house from the tornado and not the boat itself so we're going over to check it out now that we have more information so so it wasn't just the the boats and the house but um the, the trees have been, the tops have been snapped off of the trees. I don't know if you can see them or not. We got this boat over here. You can see some of the trees snapped off right there. Oh, it just turned that boat right upside down. 
and uh, well, the house behind us got a uh, tarp on their roof as well. Uh, a couple of different houses have tarps on the roof, so there was damage. I can see at least one, two, three. I can see at least four houses that have uh, blue tarps on the roof from damage. So had we come over here as we had originally planned before uh, Hurricane Ida disrupted our plans, we actually, from what we've heard from the marina, we, we would have been anchored right where the tornado went through. Tornado came across the river from there to there. And you see our boats right in the middle. it interesting all these ships anchored out here I can see one two three four five six seven large ships and then they're all anchored and then there's a oh, there's another one behind that one. Oh, yeah eight eight large ships that are anchored and then there's a US Navy patrol boat off uh, patrolling a restricted zone area but Oh, nine. Okay, they just keep showing up. So we see nine large ships at anchor here. And uh, we're kind of having to dodge around them. We're getting ready to pass a Coast Guard cutter. It's coming out of Baltimore Harbor. We're going into Baltimore Harbor. And uh, we're going to be passing pretty close, man. It is kicking up one heck of a wake. I need to take some evasive maneuvers. Yep, better. See ya. cameras never really show the true height of waves in part because of their internal stabilization but to give you an idea how big that wake was the second wave went over the top of our bow 